Hi guys, it is about 6 p.m. now and uh, today I'm off to Camden. There's an event called Amy, Amy, Amy. It's basically a concert with artists performing music by Amy Winehouse. There should be some upcoming local artists as well as some who are more known and have uh, been on The Voice and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm on my way there now. I already have my ticket that I bought online, um, all the proceeds from this event are going to the Amy Winehouse Foundation which is helping young people who have problems with drugs and alcohol. I'm going there with a friend of mine, well I'm meeting him there so fingers crossed I can find him. Yeah, we're going there to support the cause and also listen to some great music. I'll try to film a few clips for you while I'm there but now I really have to go because I'm kind of late. This is Amy's mum, Janice. <laughs> sharing this with us okay and thank you for the artist but that was great performance by you so thank you very much doing Amy proud thank you it's emotional because uh, uh, I can't sit and listen to Amy's music so I'm coming here tonight and uh, listening to you guys really has helped me and it reminded me of, um, of she was our kid and a normal kid believe you me um, but it reminded me of what a genius Amy was. But we're here this evening, ladies and gentlemen, to talk about the foundation. If we can help one young person, um, or one family, spare one family going through the horror that we went through, then it will be, uh, it will be a, uh, a job well done. Wow, I'm very shiny and my under eye circles are really bad, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I'm back now and I had an amazing, amazing time. There were some really talented people performing and I got the gig bug again. Um, and I now want to go to gigs every week because I really like music and ah, uh, yeah, I need to do it more while I'm still in London. But yeah, it was great. Amy Winehouse would be proud, I think. Um, by the way, her parents were there as well. Um, they were sitting like two meters away from me, which was a bit bizarre, but uh, yeah, they seemed like very normal and nice people. Yeah, I don't know, I've always really liked Amy Winehouse's music, um, that's why I went to the gig, because she's one of my all-time favorite artists, um, and you know, her music is really good, I love her songs and her voice was amazing, so... It's really sad that she's no longer here. We raised some money for her foundation, which will hopefully help some people. And I was also introduced to some amazing new artists 
um, which is great as well. YouTube is very funny when it comes to music because of the like copyright things. Um, I only shared a few shorter clips in this vlog with you, but I'm gonna share like full performances um, and like all the highlights of the evening on my Facebook page, um, which is facebook.com slash the puzzle of Sandra's life. So if you're interested in seeing more of the performances, go check out my Facebook page. I'll also have it linked down below in the description box. Uh, but yeah, that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go take my makeup off now and slowly uh, try to go to sleep. It is now 5 p.m. and I'm almost embarrassed to tell you what I've been doing all afternoon long. Uh, besides like washing my hair and doing my makeup, I've been taking Instagram photos. In fact, I have been taking one Instagram photo for almost two hours. I think I'm breaking the world records over here. Um, but yeah, those of you who say that as bloggers and YouTubers spend like almost no time on creating content, you are very, very wrong. I can spend two hours on taking a single Instagram photo. Imagine how long it takes me to put together a video or a blog post. But I'm not gonna complain, just putting it out there. It was totally my fault. I'm a freaking perfectionist when it comes to like photos and stuff. And to be honest, I don't even know if we have the winner. Um, I'm not sure if any of the photos will be good. Um, but fingers crossed it will be because I just spent two hours on it. Anyway, I thought I would show you a pair of really fancy sunglasses that I got a few days ago. They were sent to me by Fermu. I think uh, the company is pronounced. I still have no idea. Even though they have been kind enough to like supply me with sunglasses and regular um, prescription glasses for like years and I also purchased some of them with my own money because they have some really really cheap uh, like prescription glasses which we know are hard to find for not a lot of money. So basically these sunglasses um, are my latest addition I guess. I'm gonna put them on so you can see how they look like. I really really love them. I think they're really like fancy. <laughs> Um, and I'm so glad I got them like I wasn't sure because the frames are like slightly round and usually um, I have to wear like square frames because um, round frames tend to look very strange on me because I have like a round face but these look really cool and I can't wait to wear them summer please hurry up now before I move on to the next topic um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm currently having a giveaway up on my Facebook page so if you want to win a pair of prescription glasses for yourself go check out my Facebook page for all the details now let's move on to the next topic which um, I promised you to talk about in my last video which is my big news <laughs> I received quite a few speculations <laughs> and some of them really made me laugh my friend from back home Katya if you're watching this hi <laughs> and by the way this is not my sister this is another Katya uh, but she thought that I was finally going to announce that I have a boyfriend <laughs> which I thought was hilarious because <laughs> everyone around me want me to have a boyfriend and I don't freaking care <laughs> I have one or not uh, but no Katya this is not the big announcement I would never announce this on camera either so um, yeah that was a weird one but I just found it funny how excited she was um, but you know I'll have to disappoint you <laughs> but yeah most of you kind of guess that it is about my like future career plans and no I am not gonna do YouTube full-time because it is impossible with the amount of subscribers I have even though it would be something very exciting and something I wouldn't mind doing at all um, I doubt that it will ever happen so no um, I won't be a full-time youtuber anytime soon but I am doing something that will hopefully leave me more time to focus on my YouTube and my blog and everything so big news I decided to go freelance. Yeah, I don't know, it is exciting and terrifying at the same time. The things that I want to do when it comes to my freelancing is like um, social media consulting, um, writing articles, translating, which is kind of what I went to school for. 
um, and also maybe doing makeup and the reason why I decided to go freelance is going freelance is something I have always wanted to do like long term um, I've always like wanted to be my own boss and work from wherever I want and whenever I want because um, I really want to like travel quite a lot in the future you have to be quite flexible with your work if you want to do that uh, for like longer periods of time so it's always something I had in mind but I guess I just didn't have the courage to do it uh, because it's not like a very common thing to do back in my home country I guess young people mostly stay in university for as long as they can and then they search for like full-time employment but you know I've always been quite special so here we go <laughs> yeah I don't know how it's gonna go but I am hopeful um, I'm just really like happy about my choice because I've been feeling very disappointed with how my um, career was going I guess in the past year I kind of gave myself six months to give it a go hopefully everything's gonna work out if not, I can always go back to, you know, your regular job hunting, but for now I'm gonna focus on uh, freelancing and as I have said also on my online store, my blog, my YouTube channel and all that jazz. So yeah, fingers crossed, <laughs> everything's gonna work out alright, but um, that's kind of my big news, I guess. That's why I'm also very excited to move, because I'll be working from home basically, and um, I just can't wait to have like a lot of workspace and a lot of like lightness in the room I work in, um, so yes. I'm very excited for the future, even though this may turn out to be the worst idea I've ever had, but um, you know what they say, you live and you learn, it's everything I kind of wanted to say. I have to go to the store now because, well, I have lots of food in my fridge, but I don't have any of the essentials, like bread, which is definitely an essential for me because I can't live without it, unfortunately. Though I am not looking forward to going to the store because look at that weather. Um, not sure if you can see, but it is like raining and it's also very windy, which means that I kind of need an umbrella, but I can't take one because it won't survive the walk because usually it gets turned upside down. So I'm gonna put on my jacket with a hoodie and hope for the best. Half an hour later and I look like a wet rat. I really hate British weather, like really hate it. <laughs> You can probably tell I just woke up and I already know that today is gonna to be such a fail because I feel so tired. Um, I got into the habit of staying up late again which is not good so yeah I doubt that I'll have a very productive day today. But well I will be editing this video and I want to get my Pinterest page all reorganized because I decided that I want to start using Pinterest again. Not just for like procrastinating but you know to just um, collect like great content on there and to like pin my blog post because I'm gonna start blogging again regularly. So I just want to have like a fresh start and reorganize all the pins. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that. So I guess I won't be as unproductive, but I don't know. I just feel so lazy and so tired today. So um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna go. So I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye!